Remember playing with toy soldiers and pretending that they were fighting each other? This game is almost exactly that, but it's not just in your imagination. Final Assault is a military RTS and castle defense hybrid played in VR. If you're thinking that sounds lame, well, I did too. It's easy to pick up, and I was having fun within the first 15 minutes. The goal is to destroy the enemy's base before they destroy yours. Move yourself by grabbing and pulling across the battlefield, which is limited to a small area and has dedicated lanes for moving units. Drop them in the green arrow path to send them straight to the enemy base, or place them off of the path to set them up on defense. A near constant flow of infantry spawns and attacks automatically, but more advanced units such as troop carriers, tanks, artillery units, anti-air tanks, fighter planes, and bombers will need to be spawned and directed by you. Each unit has varying degrees of cost and you'll earn money at a constant rate. What's really cool is creating paths for units with your hands and even force units into an endless circle by connecting the end of your path to a previous point. There is multiplayer, single player, and several campaigns and you can play as one of many commanders with unique capabilities. The gameplay is very arcadey, so if you're expecting Company of Heroes in VR, you might want to pass. It's also worth noting that it plays at a very fast pace, so you won't have much time to strategize. I'm surprised how well an RTS plays in VR, but it was a little uncomfortable looking down almost the entire time. I really enjoyed the game and I found it to be highly addictive. Final Assault is $10 on Steam, and according to the Peter Scale, I give it a rating of... Wow, I can't believe that you made it through the entire minute and a half. But since you're here, I just want to say thanks for watching. And if you liked this video and want to see more, you're welcome to subscribe. Thanks again and peace.